everybody Christine here welcome to my feed room I'd like to do a short little video about something we discuss at our hoof geeks clinics regarding equine nutrition so a lot of you will be asking and have asked about how we balance our hay for our horses it's a little bit of a procedure to get it done at the beginning but once it's done it's easy peasy so basically you get your hay for the fall you sample it put it in a baggie send it away to ANL laboratories they do an analysis they send it back to you once you get an analysis, you send it away to a qualified equine nutritionist, and we do have a list of those to provide to you. She, in turn, will figure out what your hay is lacking in minerals, protein, um, omega fatty acids, vitamin E, different things like that. And then she'll send that recommendation back to you, and you email that to Mad Barn. And Mad Barn will send you depending on how many horses you have what kind of a bag you order I order mine in a hundred pound bag shipping is free and you will get this little um, chart of how much to administer so per horse for me it's literally four tablespoons so that is what I have to add into um, a mash for them every day so basically what I do in order to make sure that my horses have optimal nutrition is I'll take a uh, Smarties ice cream container because they work good in the cold and I will add first of all um, soaked hay cubes and a little bit of beet pulp so I soak this up in bulk because I've got seven horses out there this is about two and a, or one and a half cups put that in my container then I will add my four tablespoons of mineral to that two tablespoons of loose salt to that Two tablespoons of turmeric. Turmeric is awesome for arthritis, uh, uh, any kind of pain in the joints, inflammation, laminitis, um, skin conditions, and actually uh, Francine has just recently taken her pony off of the Cushing's medication it's on and just been feeding it turmeric and she's doing really well. That's cool, huh? And then what I do, because my hay is low in sugar, because I harvest it late in the season to make sure that there's a lot enough long stem fiber in it as well. It's also low in protein because when the sugar levels go down and the plant matures, the protein also goes down. I would prefer to have low sugar hay and I can always add in a little bit of protein. You, there's many different sources of protein. You can use pea meal, you can use soybean meal. I choose to use uh, Cool Stance, which is a powdered coconut meal. And it's also got the fatty acids in it and it's amazing you guys have seen my posts about zach zach is on this and he gets three cups of this in the morning and three cups at night as well as his mineral in the morning in a mash he's in phenomenal shape so i will add that in there and that's it easy peasy every horse gets this around the round pen in their pe pans pails i mean and daisy gets hers inside she's my little donkey so I will uh, continue the video outside. So that's a uh, pretty, pretty easy rundown. So hope you all have a good day. I'm off to make mucklucks now because it's 45 below in Manitoba. Have a great day. Bye. Hey again, everybody. Okay, so I got all my pails made up, put them in my little feed buckets, and I'm out to see the herd. There's Zach. Good morning, Zach. Say hi to all your Facebook friends and website. Oh, don't be shy. Grumpy old man. He's 36. And uh, he gets this in the morning and at night. He has no teeth left, but he certainly has a will to live. I just love this guy, so I do all I can to keep him in good condition. And for 35 this spring, it doesn't look too bad. Okay, so outside. Let's go outside. In the wind and in the cold. It's okay. I love my horses. I love my horses. Okay, here they are. The herd. Around them. So, I struggled because I've got a mini donkey and everybody would eat her food. So I was like, how in the heck am I going to make sure that she doesn't lose all of her mineral to all the other pigs out there? So I came up with a clever idea. I hung my pails around the round pen and I cut
had a donkey door and so nobody can get inside. You don't have to have a round pen to do this. I'm sure you can do it in a wooden structure as well. So, trailer. And Daisy, little bugger. She likes to bite me sometimes. And Big George, he's the one that's pre-cushions and also metabolic. And George is really, really benefited from the turmeric. So here we go through the donkey door. There we go. Here's Daisy's little bowl. Daisy gets her food on the ground. And then I will walk around. And every morning I dump turmeric in their mineral in their pails. I add one more pail to the amount of horses I have all the way around the round pen. Yes, I'm getting to you, Raven. On. And that's basically how I ensure optimal equine, equine nutrition. I'm out of breath. Okay, so hopefully that helps. Have a great day. Every morning, 365 days a year. And do you have to do something different for pasture? Well, not really. As long as your pasture consists of the same type of grasses that uh, your hay is made of, the only thing is on the pasture, there's going to be a lot more protein available because the plant is living. So I basically just say uh, feed the same mineral all through the summer and the winter. So you see as they, as they come around the round pen, everybody just kind of walks around like a horse carousel and in the end they all get the same amount. It has made a tremendous difference in their feet as you have seen in the pictures of Percy. That's this guy right here that I have uh, trimmed and his feet have grown out beautifully. So uh, it's a bit of an ordeal to get your hay balanced but in the end you guys it's unbelievable the rewards you'll get. So once again have a great day.